came here two and a half years ago, I th first time, and stayed here for, I think, almost three weeks in the hospital. I had no idea what was wrong with me the first time I came, and when they said I had Crohn's, I was like, what was that? <laughs> and I don't know, they said it wouldn't change much, but I feel like, like I kind of unlucky, and it's changed a lot. I haven't been able to play hockey. Missed a lot of school, and being 14 is it's kind of sad because you know I have to deal with this for the rest of my life. My favorite part of this job is to see the look of relief on parents' face once their child falls asleep and they know that we are going to actively do something to make them feel better. It is actually so fabulous to have this new OR, to have, to have room to move, to have space to do the surgeries. We used to say, we can't do that operation in this room because we can't get one of the x-ray machines in. So having more space means we, the sky's the limit and more kids won't have to wait so long, which can be such a painful time for parents and their kids. If they're in pain, if they don't know, that's really stressful. So to know that we're moving forward and we're moving forward in a great direction really gets me jazzed up. My best memory with Ben was when he was born. I was so happy to be a mom, yeah. It's been a scary two years, scary moment. Each time I see Ben, I keep thinking, I hope this boy will make it. I keep praying for him because I'm always scared. Coping with Ben, I didn't know I, I, I would be able to do it. But I thank God for the strength that he gave to me because it's very tough. I'd always wanted to be a doctor. This was the type of medicine that I wanted to practice. In paediatrics, we prioritise the fact that there is a, a family unit. Uh, people are scared. They're frightened about what's going to happen and the, that fear of the unknown drives a lot of secondary issues and problems for people. What excites me about the new space? Everything. <laughs> it's great. I mean, the new space gives us exactly what we need to do. We're not working in an area now that requires us to move the kids around and to reposition the children in the room, we can re reposition the room around the child. And that keeps the focus on the most important thing in the room, which is the child. So our ability to take the, the boom arms with the endoscopy equipment from one side of the bed to the other side of the bed when we're doing different procedures, uh, to manipulate very large and bulky equipment with ease around the room quickly, uh, all whilst being able to leave the, the child safely under anaesthetic at the anaesthetist's hands is, uh, is critically important to how well we can provide that care. We have a commitment towards patient and family-centred care. Uh, and if you're having to give them news about uh, what's happened within a procedure, and sometimes that's great news, and sometimes it's not so great news that you're breaking. So having a space that allows family privacy, uh, at the same time as, uh, as allowing them comfort and close proximity to their child uh, is, is critically important. I think it's frightening. I think it's overwhelming at times. I mean, there are lots of hard parts in this job. Uh, I think what makes them worthwhile is the appreciation from families to know that you've had that opportunity really to in, be involved in a family, in a child's life and make a difference for them.